Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> It is 2.26 a.m. Right, last night, I think it was around 6 p.m. I put this video out. I was kind of surprised because after I uploaded it on YouTube, YouTube didn't give me any problem with it. So I decided to put it out same time that I uploaded it. So occasionally I will be doing that and just follow the episode number because this was out of sequence. This is episode 50. And I think on the 6 a.m. videos, um, huh, okay, something went wrong. Okay, um, look at like this one, for instance, I uploaded, they're still checking it, all right? So it's video, uh, episode 49, it's not uh, up yet. Four people from YouTube already view it to see if they could approve it, nothing yet. But the other one, I uploaded, it went up. And I am up to the latest okay this one i think was out of sequence as well 36 was 37 uh, i think the more recent in terms of episode uh, i think it's 38 and then i have 39 two videos gonna come out to um uh, today the 18th uh 39 because i did one recording and uh, they all related both of them will be released on the same day uh, one at 4 p.m. and the other one at 6 a.m. All right, so maybe later on I'll put something on my community board to uh, alert people that com it's coming. You see, they have almost the same uh, thumbnails, the same thumbnails, but uh, I think I put uh, part one and part two or something in it. And by the way, 
as you look at the episode numbers sometimes i put the back end of my video like i'm showing right now keep on checking the estimate all right look at this 268 dollars and 58 cents it hasn't moved much and i'm sure by the time i finish record let's say 6 a.m if i come back here and renew it it's gonna go lower something is not right all right so let's go on twitter um yesterday after i posted the thing and i went on twitter to start preparing to be tweets to share with you and i start seeing stuff about uh, uh megan's uh wardrobe how much she was getting paid or something like that uh, i was a bit confused i didn't know what was going on until i saw this video so i'm gonna put that video first and then all the other uh, tweets follow relate to that video all right so i will be stopping in between it's exactly two minutes jeremy vine discussion on whether the monarchy is damaged good on who's this beef for team sussex okay all right beef sus for highlighting the royal family has millions to pay off a prince andrew victim but telling megan to work for her keep part one okay so this is someone one of the sus uh, maybe that was the color before beyond okay so i don't know all right but i did hear the video because i was a bit confused with all the other tweets that i was seeing all right so let's listen and i will be stopping in between well we're going to speak to beverly now from essex who thinks andrew represents the institution okay so beverly if you think andrew represents the institution what does that mean for the monarchy as far as you're concerned hello hi thank you for having me uh, i think Ultimately, it speaks to the core values of the monarch. For many, many centuries, we've been made to believe that the occupiers of um, the society and the palaces hold some moral, high moral um, ground for people to aspire to in society. Um, and yet, you know, now we see the kind of people that are within these palace walls and their morals. Um, but what's funny to me is what the monarch has money to pay for and what the monarch doesn't have money to pay for. In the case of Prince Andrew, Andrew, they have money, 12 million pounds, to pay for a, 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 a set assault offence of a minor to go away. Yet we know when Harry and Meghan were part of the institution, there was only talk about not being money for this, not being money for that. Megan was told when she joined the family that she would need to continue to be an actress because there was no money for her even though she was expected to work within the monarch and okay that's where the issue started here okay look at her okay i'm gonna rewind it slightly i need to stop somewhere because the video is almost done all right so look at her starting to uh the host starting to retract what the caller is saying I, like no 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 that's not the way it goes and then this is where the squad went to work and then the caller knew exactly what she was talking about i'm assuming the caller is this person barefoot team sussex because there's it is here they said beverly essex all right so maybe this is her here who's calling she knows what she's talking about she's like no 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 that's exactly what's going on okay they had money for Andrew, but they don't have money for Megan. All right, and then this person here, the host, the black host here, was trying to. Uh, 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 people should not hear this. The, the 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 viewers should not hear this. That's my assumption here. Trying to say no, that's not the way things happen. And then from there on, the squad went to work. And then the squad went to look for stuff, uh, articles that happened in 2017. They can't find them. All right, but some squad had screenshots. All right, let me rewind it slightly. ...to be an actress because there was no money for her, even though she was expected to work within the monarch. And the I think that's the opposite, yeah. Beverly. There it is. Sorry, Beverly, to interrupt. I think it was the opposite. She was told actually to give up her role as an actress. No, 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 to no, be no, a no. Of the Harry said... <laughs> Listen to Beverly on the phone. No, 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 no. You're not going to get away with this. No, 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 no. <laughs> I like that part. As an actress, no, 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 no. Harry said... She was told she needs to continue to work because there would be let's no money. Yes, let's, let's find out. That's right. Harry said it on the Oprah interview. Harry said it on the Oprah interview. All right. I rewind it again. Continue to work because there 
because there would be let's no money. Let's, let's find out. Let's, let's find that up. Oh, gosh, there's so many um, other things as well. Here we go. In regards to settlement details, we don't know the full details. However, what's being uh, reported in some papers is actually the Queen will be paying the charity, uh, Virginia Dufresne's charity, not actually Virginia Dufresne herself, so as not to implicate the Queen. But again, we don't know how much that would be. But Angela, in terms of uh, Meghan, what she told wow. she would still need she to cut work her off to right there. the royal family. Good for Beverly. Good for Beverly. She put the word out there. Very good. Very good. All right. So this is where the squad went to work. They're like, ah, 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 ah. Don't start with this nonsense. All right. Let's see here. The Sussex Squad podcast. What is the name of that lady? Okay. That's her handle. Claudia Lisa TV. Who's that? Oh, oh, oh Essex. So that's that lady who was, okay, Channel 5 TV presenter, agent, was it JN management? The problem is CL just one just won't stop talking. Sister Evelyn, if CL could focus, she could go for Miss Wo. Who's that? Followed by anti bullying poor from charity. Da da da. Two others you follow. All right. So let's go into this. This is Sussex Squad podcast. Okay, who the black lady is, Claudia Lisa too. She was the one who came for Megan when she was pregnant and wore the black dress and now vanished. Just letting you know. Okay, exactly. This is when I realized that there are black people in position only because of their willingness to bend down at the feet of Massa. <laughs> okay, that's her handler. Okay, so this is her again. Okay, let's see here. Thanks so much for providing the fact. Unfortunately, she didn't want to hear the truth. That's what I realized too. She stopped her right away and went on to the next thing. All right? And tried to stop the truth from coming out. Okay, isn't Dr. Schuller sitting next to her? If so, I'm surprised she didn't step in at the very moment this lady tried to shut Beverly down. Okay, the host, she does the Channel 5 news on the same channel. She fills in for Jeremy when he's away. All right, uh, Dr. Schuller, is that her? I can't see. Let's see. Uh, again, we don't... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Like, damn, it's hard to see. To, to join them, uh, the world is that that? Mm, I don't think that's Dr. Schuller. I don't think that's her. All right, so let me go back to the original tweet. Okay, I went in there and we find out who the lady is. Okay, why did she stop her from finishing her comment? That's diabolical. Thanks for making this important point, Beverly. Yep. Okay, producers and her ears, thank goodness for that color. Hopefully, people will look it up. It's important that we share what Harry said. All right, this is where, I mean, I was seeing other tweets before that one. The squad went to work getting receipt. Okay, put, okay, I just read that one. There's three comments. And I'm going to play this 15 seconds uh, thing here. And notice they've got that lady on deck ready to lie and claim what Harry said didn't happen. Like she contradicting an actual royal about conversation he's gone on record about. How does she know what he and his family discussed? She wasn't there. Exactly. Discredit the media even more making Harry and Meghan's decision that much stronger. Yeah, as we move, keep moving forward, we're seeing Harry and Meghan's interview with the Oprah interview is coming to light. Yep, all they do is continue to prove there it is. Harry and Meghan were telling the truth. Look at how they kept trying to silence anyone who then spout their narrative. That black lady trying to silence Shola is not. Oh, so that was Shola on, uh, next to her. Um, I didn't see the whole thing. Whatever I just show you, that's all I saw. Okay, I'm not in the UK to see that video. Uh, the, those channels okay that black lady trying to silence Shola is nothing but a blank <laughs> blankety blank sellout Harry did express her afraid they are to lose the narrative as I see no longer have one let's see here that pit bull was about to shake its head and lie like there is no visit all right there's that 15 second I'm probably gonna have to stop maybe in five seconds I know you guys hate that but YouTube is in my back okay YouTube, YouTube is in my case Team because it's not a that was right at the beginning when she wasn't going to get security when members of my family were suggesting that she carries on acting because there's not enough money to pay for her and all there it is like there it is okay and he brought it up casually like this casually i mean god is good god is good he brought it up casually as he's giving examples okay during the open interview and then bet there it is okay it's coming to light let i'm rewinding it again 
enough money to pay for her and all this sort of stuff. Like, there was some real obvious signs before we even got married that this was going to be really hot. Mm. That was right at the beginning when... Okay, so there it is. There's Harry saying it himself. I'm going to play it again. Okay, and I mean, Harry has to be in love because even before they got married, he realized things was going to be hot, but he still stood by her. He stood by her. I'm playing it again. That was right at the beginning when she wasn't going to get security, when members of my family were suggesting that she carries on acting because there's not enough money to pay for her and yes, all this okay. sort of stuff. Like, there was some real obvious signs before we even got married that this was going to be really hot. Mm. That was and you could see their eyes. When you look at Harry and Meghan's eyes in certain videos, they were going through some stuff. Now that we know the amount of abuse and nonsense they were dealing with. Look at here. His eyes is a little bit puffy. There's other videos way before the Oprah interview when he's doing Zoom calls with other charities and they put it out. And I'm like, look at his eyes. He looks like he, either he was crying. Then I start putting the time zone. Maybe he didn't get enough sleep and all of I usually point these things out. And this one you could see in his eyes also. And some other instances I could see in Megan's eyes. Not in this video in particular, but other videos as well. Okay, she sure was. Okay, now I'm going to the comments. Okay, any program that has Angela Levine, a troll, on their panel of guests automatically loses all credibility and integrity. <laughs> I know this. They have no problem letting callers spot nonsense and lies about Meghan and Harry. But the minute they have someone correct the lies, they shut you down. <laughs> Can't stand them bitches. <laughs> all right. Um, I purposely didn't say that word. Okay, you see how she quickly tried to change the subject. The color was spot on. Harry said so in his interview with Oprah. Black folks are not Ken folks in this call. They are all told to shut down any positive talk about Meghan and Harry. Evil. And guess what? God has... We're leaving these things baggage for God. Because all the stuff that we see happening. I even said money that was supposed to go for their security, their protection. Look how they're spending it right now. And I said it in other video. This money were meant for Harry and Meghan. But because they were trying to be so petty as F. All right, God said, you're not spending that money correctly. I'm going to make you spend it. I'm going to make you spend it. Uh, and this is why I said in other video. Virginia Goffrey has no, She doesn't even need to know where the money is coming from. All right? It's not her problem. But the subjects willing to give their money uh, to the uh, monarch. All right? Because the monarch which is Prince Andrew, and they trying to hide, uh, shield Prince Andrew from his behavior, you know, he did all the stuff to Virginia, all right? And we have to give props to Virginia Goffrey for sticking to her gun and went after it, and she wasn't afraid. Sometimes when you went through hell already, okay, how much hell can you go anymore? You can't go any deeper anymore. Okay, I even point out, um, in one of my videos, I don't know which channel is in because I say a lot of stuff either here on app you team Sussex and I said one of the things that Virginia got for her uh, going for her She's white blonde hair. I don't know what color her eyes is Okay, so she got that going for her the system will Pretty much protect her and then she's a female All right, so she got that going for her and then the monarch went after her as a teen abused her so she's wiser from what i understand she didn't sign the nda okay one of the things that i say in other videos and i hope she you know she's wiser from the deal that she got from the 2009 agreement with epstein because when i read that thing she did not have a good or fair deal on that so she learned from it so the monarch tried to uh shield andrew from the abuse that they put Virginia from. So Virginia's, uh, I don't know how I got Virginia into this, but the thing is that um, when they're trying to spew nonsense for the monarch, they let it go, all right? Uh, they let it go, but when they try to correct the nonsense, they shut you down, all right? So let me read some of the comment here. Oh my God, I spew her. Her hand started failing when she couldn't cut off the color. People know. Yep, yep, that's right. And the, the, the caller was like, no, 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 no. Don't try to uh, change the, the subject here. I know what I know. All right? Good for Beverly, the caller. Right? Good job, Beverly, for Team Sussex. That Val Levine 
was going to refuse your argument. Fact checking is in a strong suit of the British media, as we are not. Kay Yal is the British uh, Candace Owen. Oh, okay, because she is doing uh, some serious tap dancing for them, buttering biscuit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, squad is show up and showing out. Well done, therefore. I need to follow her. No, I'm not following her. How could that be? She's in the UK. <laughs> Good for her. All right, let's read some more here. Well done, therefore, Team Sussex. Set them straight. Okay, I find it interesting that whenever Megan's name is mentioned by a caller, they interrupt and then <laughs> and then your show counters the truth with lies. My goodness, I'm then the, the UK to see all of this stuff. But majority of the clips that the squad be putting out, yeah. Who does she go to for the truth? Angela, who engaged with Megan hate account? Yep, she bound to be in the fountain of knowledge. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is it? Um, uh, Buzi, Buzi have uh, uncovered some of the nonsense that uh, Angela Levine is doing on in the internet. So intellectually disingenuous, regardless of the detail that are true, it is well known that they have refused to fund the Sussexes. That's exactly right. Look at Harry, for instance, who wants security, where anybody could buy security over there. All right, they refuse him that thing, that alone. Yeah, security for Megan, Archie, Harry, all that noise about Fragmore, and yes, saying Megan needed to keep aside, hustle, etc. There's a rolling eye. Okay, but for certain, really well done for sticking to your gun and make, making your point. Yep, that is true. Okay, Angela Levine is a liar, as well as the auntie, okay, Oreo, <laughs> auntie Oreo, who cut off the truth. See Harry Oprah interview receipt. Surely Harry knows what was said or not instead of clown Angela Levine, who get info third hand at best. Okay, there's that uh, video playing again. Okay, they clearly didn't pay attention to what Harry said about Megan needing to work. All right, I'm not going to play it again. Uh, so do Angela Levine and Claudia Lisa know more about what was told to Harry as he clearly stated in his interview with Oprah that Megan should continue in her acting job because there was no money for her security than Harry who lived within the family. It's how they think everybody buys in their lies and the shock, horror in their faces when someone call out the hypocrisy. I'm telling you, the, the UK need to... Those who know the truth need to keep standing up. L lately, I'm seeing that a lot. Believe me, there's one video. I think it's one of the videos that I put out. Um, I upload, but I don't think it's uh, out yet. Ah, I went at it. The UK need to speak up. The ones who know the real truth. Okay, what the F is Messer Gatekeeper. <laughs> Imagine having the opinion of Angela Levine, a known troll who continued to spread misinformation on Megan. Okay, let me just say, I love at Bear for Team Sussex, the best way to neutralize the tabloid's false narrative about Prince Harry and Meghan is for Team Sussex to the airways to television and radio. Yeah, lately I've been seeing that. That is true. There was another caller and um, uh, what's that show? TBL or something like that who stood up uh, for Meghan and saying, where is the queen getting that money? I have that video. It's probably up already. Not live, but I probably already uploaded. Okay, true. The presenter was in panic mode. Angry Levine ready to go into nodding dog defense routine. The invisible contract got shook. <laughs> okay, thank you, Bev. For uh, they asking Angela <laughs> for the truth of all trolls, and this is why they keeping uh, they putting nonsense in the UK's uh, head. Yeah, the host was terribly and very unprofessional. Oh, backpedaling really quickly. Haha, <laughs> can't let the truth out, can they? All right, this is dangerous. The woman saw her job security flash before her eyes. <laughs> that is true. The color was absolutely right. Okay, whatever. All right, they, the host is unprofessional and clearly biased against Harry and Megan. She kept interrupting the color and Shola. Okay, so that was Shola. Okay, the clip that I saw was away mostly from um, the person the panel but um at the end there's a small clip a portion of uh, another person sitting there so i guess that was her all right lying levine okay let's see uh lying levine must work cheap she's on every level okay she's on every talk show continually bashing harry and megan i mean i thought they said they were gonna leave them alone okay i believe harry of course we believe harry why would he lie about something like that 
And he's the one who spoke with his uh, family. If they were able to tell him those nonsense, I mean, that's the truth he knows. All right, let's see here. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 12 million quid. He gave it to someone he never met for something he never did. <laughs> All right, lies. The host should have used Google. <laughs> that's true. No same person should go to Angry Levine for conf confirmation of anything. This Harry and Meghan situation reveal how covert all forms of media is. Okay, that is all racism. That is called racism. All right, so let me go to the next tweet. And I think this was the squad putting out receipt. All right, I, these are the things I was seeing. Oh, there's more receipt here. All right, um, there's V here. I think Claudia Lisa TV need to double down on fact checking and less speaking off the car from opinion. Harry said it in front of the world as evidence in this video that what the caller said was 100% truth. All right, so the squad uh, um, tagging the host. Okay, now I know this was the host because uh, Sussex Squad Podcast 1 was asking who is she and someone who knows put the tag. And then now people are tagging her with the clip. All right, I mean, at some point, you know, when things get tough, People are running. You think they're going to save your ass? Just stick to the truth. That's all. There it is again. That was right at the beginning when she wasn't going to get security, when members of my family were suggesting that she carries on acting because there's mm -hmm. not enough money to pay for her and all this sort of stuff. Like, there it is. some real obvious signs. All right. She, she has to go back to acting because there was, there was no money for her. Oh, my God. How God is good. How God is good. And Harry was saying it very casually. And then all of a sudden... There's $12 million to pay off people that the other one never met. Pay for her and all this sort of stuff. To, to, we're suggesting that she carries on acting because there's not enough money to pay for her and all this sort of stuff. Like, there was some real obvious signs before we even got married that this was going to be really hot. Mm. That was right. Okay, so there's the clip here and they tag her on it. And I was seeing all of this before the other video. And I was like, what's going on? What, was this going on all day? Because I was not on Twitter. And when I come across that video, the one that I showed you before, it was the last one that I saw. And I was like, oh, that's what's going on. Okay, let's see here. Claudia knows it's a lie, but she doesn't care because Claudia to be the black face of white supremacy. Claudia thinks they're going to let her in because she's, quote, one of the good ones. Okay, that makes you a sellout. Okay, they only allow black people who work against their own race and UK TV. Wow 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 okay this idiot woman sitting in for jeremy vine was trying my yoga practice today <laughs> this idiot woman sitting in for jeremy vine was trying my yoga practice today she kept cutting off shola okay so that was shola like the royal family will embrace her in their near circle the help <laughs> wow she was practicing her yoga uh, and by the way there's one comment that i saw who suggests uh, some free apps for me to practice, uh, uh, what did they call this type of meditation? All right. Um, I wrote it somewhere, but I haven't downloaded it yet. Okay. Or oh, Megan, look at her face here. Those memories must be clearly difficult for her to relive. Thank you for this. Can you imagine that she asked Angela Levine to verify it? Goodness me. The biggest hater of Megan. So, so disappointing. Okay. I snorted out loud in the waiting room of the infusion center I am at when I read fact checking. Okay. Uh, Megan Mood and Claudia. Okay. I have to see ill informed hosts behave in an omniscient manner, peeved me to no end. When I see a black woman acting like this, Claudia, I feel nauseous. Tap dancer. Throw the tap dancer a dime for her troubles. My goodness. What incredible is that she has done it without any shame yeah i mean the whole world can you imagine this the entire world saw it saw the harry and megan interview with the oprah and then for her to it wasn't like this yes she needs to do her homework the color was correct plus she seems to have a hard time translating what is being said she's not talking off the cuff she's knowingly telling untruth and she gets a proven liar like herself to back uh to back up her lies all right, that's Angela Levine. Okay, I would like to watch this again. Uh, I would like to see the entire conversation because it's a small clip. All right, next one.
The 2017 article about the Queen telling Meghan to keep acting has disappeared on the internet. All right, this is where I was saying. I think this was the first one that I saw. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? All right. Uh, don't need receipt when Harry says it with his whole chest. Yep. All right. A reminder. <laughs> There's the squad with their receipt. This too. All right. Uh, the royal family wanted Meghan Markle to keep acting after marrying Prince Harry to support them financially. All right. March 8, 2021 by Rachel Hosey. The squad keep receipt. And then these people can't see them anymore. If you search online, you can't see those articles anymore. They remove it. And this is what I've been saying before. All those nonsense they were putting about Megan, it's when people do research. All right. When you, our great grandkids are doing research, when they're looking stuff about Megan, they were seeing all the smear campaign. This is what they wanted the future to see. Okay. These people were working toward the future to smear her name. And now, while we still in the present, we're correcting our history, okay? Because the second that I say something is already history. Now that we're correcting our history based on what happened with Megan, now they're erasing that whatever they had already set up for the future. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. All right? I've said this a very long time ago. They were doing all this nonsense for the future. When our great grandkids are searching about the first black, well, maybe not the first maybe the second from my understanding all right the black uh uh princess who married uh harry all right so all we will see is those negative stuff negative 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 now we're correcting those things and thank god for michelle and tina to come out right at the gate this is the thing i have to always comment tina and michelle right at the gate to counteract with the nonsense that was going on Okay, so now what's happening? They're removing. They're removing things, the nonsense that they were putting for the future because they know it was a lie. Okay, but the squad kept the receipt though. All right, let's see. I like her, uh, uh, how do you call this? Her ID right there. It matches it. This too. All right. Uh, that's awful, but did Ford Fiesta, Camilla, Kate have to support their husband? No. Can you imagine the protocol backlash with storylines? So she would have lived in the in Canada while taping them moved to the UK. Prince Harry, whom she'll be supporting, living in his cottage while the other working royals, okay, so that's one of two, okay, live in a palatial castle. Palaces have multiple properties, allowances, get staff from sovereign grant and duchies, and a fair prince Harry would be working for free, and Meghan, the black race wife, will be paying Prince uh, Charles, British royal family, royal family, taxpayers, working like a dog, and probably still be expected to talk with Prince Harry when not ta uh, taping. Wow. That is true. That's what they wanted. And thank God, Meghan, you know, Meghan knows her worth. And, and we have to give Prince Harry some prop too for sticking by his wife and said, no, this is not going to fly for me. All right? If she's going to work, I might as well leave and go make my own money. And this is what they're doing. It was there one in 2017. I remember this one after Step Back was announced. All right. There's the squad putting their receipt. I was like, what's going on? All right. The Queens offer Meghan Markle and Prince Harry the freedom to live without royal titles before the wedding. But Suit Star wanted to become a working member of the firm. Okay. By Harriet Johnston uh, for, for Mail Online. That was January 2020. All right. All of this. They're putting this nonsense out. My God. A white source has claimed Sussexes were offered to live without titles before wedding. Inside claimed the Queen 93 offered Meghan 38 to continue acting career. There's another thing to um, back up um, Harry's claim on the Oprah interview. Okay, believe it could, believed it could give Royal more freedom and allow her to carry on her career. Say Megan was happy to stop acting to become a working member of Royals. Prince Harry 35 and Megan will stop using HRH title and withdraw from duty. All right. The Queen offered Prince Harry and Megan Markle the freedom to live without titles ahead of their wedding, but the suit store was, quote, happy, and quote, to stop acting and become a working Royal, a source has claimed. All right. So at some point, you know, these have some truth to it because there's, Harry and the Oprah interview, you know, saying almost the same thing. A source told the son 
that before the royal wedding in May 2018, the Queen 93 made the offer to Meghan 38, which will give her freedom to continue her acting career. Much of the negativity towards the couple is coming from within the royal family. The royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. I, there's freedom, like Megan was in Chaco. My goodness. Uh, and there's again, the queen, all of a sudden, five, find 12 million, okay, 12 million plus, okay, because this is the figure they're throwing out. It could be probably more. $12 million or uh, pounds, should I say, to pay for Andrew's uh, uh, misdeed with uh, uh, Virginia Goffrey, which he claimed he never met her. That's the thing. This is why the squad were coming out in full force. Okay, the February, March 2019 Tatler article has also disappeared. All right, they're removing everything. Okay, did anyone get an archive link of it? Okay, Rebecca, okay, any ideas? Okay, uh, maybe they may start to give them back the HRH or take their 50 50. Oh, at this point, there's the place is infested. Everybody over there, almost everyone over there is under investigation. Uh, no, they made their mistake. That's it. Thank God. Oh my God. Thank God. As Harry and Meghan were leaving, they were they did not want Harry and Meghan to associate with them. I don't know. They did a good thing for Harry and Meghan because all the BS that's going over there has nothing to do with the Sussexes. Thank God. Thank God for that. The 50-50% is long gone. Right now, they're in a space where they could uh, they could do as they please all right now they have people working for them they can just leave and, and be a footstool for these idiots over there i'm telling you god is good let me start all over maybe they may start to give them back the hrh or take their 50 50 offer i think that would be a great bargain seeing that they are in the dumps now and need all the help from harry and megan i don't think harry and megan wants to deal with them anymore <laughs> nah no way Okay, the British royal family really blew it with Harry and Meghan. I doubt they'll ever go back, even 50-50, after the treatment they receive. The family needs them. They don't need the family. That is true. That is true. And I think right now, all whoever had, uh, what is it? Whoever showed some sort of uh, respect or some sort of kindness, um, I think we sort of see who Harry is associated already. Uh, Eugenie. All right? So only Harry and Meghan could uh, pick and choose who they want next to them. All right? Even though I have a little bit suspicious with Eugenie because they could easily go and get information from the Sussex's household. Let's see here. I just read this. Uh, one, I hope not. Let them struggle. <laughs> At some point, they need to feel their pain. That's the thing here. Remember those prayers? That they need to feel the pain in order for them to stop this nonsense. All right, plus it's going to be the same old thing. That's why they don't know any better. I'm sorry, I'm interrupted. All right, let me read without interruption. I hope not. Let them struggle. Plus it's going to be the same old thing. Megan and Harry doing all the work and the Cambridges taking the credit. Plus, I never want to see Archie and Lilibet being used as scapegoats for the Cambridges children like Harry was for William. That is true. Let's see here. And two, and Megan was for kate megan was never protected in that family she was pregnant and suicidal and no one in that family cared they took away their security and patronage as punishment for them leaving megan and harry are better off without them yep that's what i think too well why on earth and the entire universe <laughs> will harry and megan be considered giving up what they have now exactly nothing that the royal family has done especially since march 2020 has changed for the Sussexes. Oh, I get it. This must be a fantastical dream of a senior royal. <laughs> I miss you. Uh, why why on earth will they give up the freedom and the peace of mind to be told you broke uh you broke a non existence a non okay non existence protocol by simply breathing? Never. I think Harry and Megan, if forced to choose between titles and the life they have now, will choose the life they have now. They've been there, done that. That's right. That's why, remember, what, sometimes um, I've said, when you already experience a pain, like I think it, I was talking about Harry, who already experienced the pain being in the royal family. Why will he go back over there? All right? So he know the pain being in the royal family. So he rather take a chance, a leap of faith to experience something else in the outside world. 
okay at the gate of the um the palace instead of continuing the pain that he was facing all right nope how megan never gives them her agency again and getting anything from these people is a bargain with the devil i hope megan reject all the offer at this point i don't even think megan is picking up the phone from them i don't even think megan is picking up the phone if they call only uh harry because that's his family but i don't think megan has anything to do with them if harry wants to go back that's his choice but the kids are gonna stay okay these people are evil and should never be trusted harry and megan can support the organization without the royal family okay say it loud for the folks and overflow <laughs> and overflow all right let's go to the next tweet all right i have uh, about three more after this one all right these are the receipts that i was seeing i was like what's going on okay we didn't okay we didn't spend nearly enough time talking about this part the, the tea that harry spilled and his aside was called in hot okay let's see she retweet myra thinking about prince harry saying his family made the suggestion while they were engaged that megan keep acting to support herself because there was no money for her let's see here all right so i've shown that video already well okay wanted her to work for free they really thought a slave had arrived <laughs> okay there's this again sussex princess here you go let's see 16 seconds let's see here i hope there's no music when she wasn't going to get security when members of my family were suggesting she carries on acting because there's not enough money to pay for her and all this sort of stuff like there was some real obvious signs before you even got married that this was going to be really hard. Mm. All right, so the squad have that audio in many different verses. Uh, it looks like when, um, when, during the old point of view, she recorded out maybe with her phone or something like that. Let's see here, 71 people like it. The best thing they did was leave that family in the dust. Princess Diana watching and moving mountains for her youngest son and his family. That's right, I believe so too. I believe so too that money they're spending on prince andrew to uh prevent the trial from moving forward it was meant to be for harry and megan all right let's see here uh, angela levine was literally just on jeremy vine uh, on five saying this is a lie and it was never said why do they keep dragging this dinosaur out she is so invalid uh, they hated the fact that she was the first self-made millionaire to marry into the family and did want to support her in any way i mean there's so many things uh, adding to that you know isn't that nature whenever they see a different skin tone to do something completely different all right to behave completely different they didn't know at first that she was uh, she was a millionaire i mean with the amount of money they spent to get private investigation uh, on her getting her social security number getting her uh, all sort of information about her they didn't know she he was a millionaire and then the friend the, the 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 support that she had my goodness and then all of a sudden when harry and megan did the instagram page and all of a sudden that's when the royal family wanted to do that maybe some of you could correct me on that because i wasn't following the Sussexes and the royal family were the royal family not harry and megan okay where the royal family were on ig before uh sussex royal because i was aware of the sussex world when i started you know following the sussexes that they create they made uh what was it they uh they made a, a a record a world record for the amount of subscribers or followers on ig and then that's when all uh, the uh, this the other ones started buying bots okay who was on ig first was it the sussex um sussex royal or the cambridges i don't know i don't even, i'm not even i have ig but i don't even go in there that often i think last night i did post something to let you know that i have a video out all right so let me know which is who was there first because uh, uh that uh because megan before go, married into the royal family from the squad i know she had the tag and she was on on ig and she was posting a lot of stuff maybe uh megan probably suggests to harry let's create that uh, ig post let people know about us and all of this this kind of thing in a control way uh, and then all of a sudden the other ones wants to do the same thing that's what i'm thinking but you guys could correct me who was first 
okay they hated the fact that she was the first self-made millionaire to marry into the royal family and didn't want to support her in any way all right they didn't know at first that she was a millionaire they just hated that she was biracial i love to know how many times the n-word got shouted because you know it was all right betty is ruining her own reputation with that 12 million dollar payout yep <laughs> it reminds me of uh uh one of the thumbnails that i have uh what, how did i say it? uh the storm is coming or something like that and then what did i have on the thing i had the uk flag and then a couple months later i find out uh, someone took a picture of the f shot thing where uh, baldy was standing in front of a map of the world and it reminded me of my thumbnails so the storm is coming Okay, it's uh, 12 million pounds, which is about 60 million dollars. Uh, but millions of pounds is paid out to someone he's never met. It's a laugh, and okay, it's a laugh a minute. Once he had the duke resent his uh, his finish, he will need round the clock observation. That's no joke. Okay, here you go. Video courtesy Alicia 1985. Okay, I played that already. Unbelievable, and they pay 12 million to someone and you never met. Interesting. Okay, yet, <laughs> I'm telling you, God is good. Let's see here. Yet, she was torn with Prince Harry for the royals. Tempon Charles has his stubby fingers all over it. Yep, all of them. Okay, imagine the insult if she never sees her acting career. Let's see here. What is that? 11 seconds. What is that? I walked right out, took my eyes out of my head, put them in my purse, and drove my car blind. It's that. I'm telling you, the squad always find the perfect clip to put onto the things. OMG, so true. That family would have made her a caricature and a laughing stock of the world. Shock better have some answer ready for God because that man is pure evil. All of them, not just Shock, all of them. And look at the brother even backstab his own brother. Okay, that's a word proposal and it's tagged on exclusion. Why will lines be drawn when financial matters are at stake? What about social life, tradition, and relation to the integrity of the institution and liaison with the public? How does he feel about that? I mean, right now, they, they probably uh, at the drawing board trying to find a nonsense to feed to the public. All right? So the public don't get upset about that 12 million pound. I will never ever get over the audacity of them telling Megan that presumably with a straight faces, her, you're effing believable on so many levels to be honest i need to stop even thinking about it because it makes me angry all over again whenever i'm reminded of it that family jfc all right uh she was supposed to continue her acting while funding herself so she could work for them for free my goodness uh, these are baggage for god baggage for god and these people they need to feel the pain that they've been inflicting onto others this is the only way they're gonna learn they need to feel the pain they've been putting on so many people around the world for centuries they need to feel it okay new environment new window of engagement for compliance purposes all right let's read some more and so i can move on i bet they were looking up to her in admiration, which most of them should do, because my sister is brilliant, elegant, hardworking, so eloquent, that her and husband have a palace in California. Peace and financial independence earned through hard work. <laughs> That's the thing they didn't want them to have. They thought they were going to crawl back. My God, can you imagine that? You know what? Let me not even put this, what I'm thinking, in the universe, because we know how evil these people are. They will drag their face left and right. Anything about his family makes me so done. I can't. I'm so happy they're thriving away from the actual scandals going on with Andrew and the Princess Charity. So there's a video that I need to do regarding the investigation with Charles. Okay. Is this for real? All right. This, if I do the video for about the Prince Charles investigation, you guys need to go to app your team Sussex and subscribe over there because many of you don't want to hear anything about the, um, the other worlds but the Sussexes. All right, okay, is this for real? Yet yeah, they had 12 million laying around. I mean, I'm telling you, they're gonna be spending so much more, they're gonna be spending so much more because that security that Harry wanted at when he was really needed. 
All right. When he left the UK to meet his family in Canada, they removed his security and then they disclosed his location. That alone, that alone, which gave the Sussexes a hard time try to find, uh, trying to find a place of secure for his family. And thank God for Tyler Perry. All right. God will always protect uh, Tyler Perry for the good deed that he did. But the the royal family, what they did to Harry's family, they gonna be for the rest of their lives. Those who were agreed to that, those who were part of the plan to to uh, put pain onto the Sussexes, they will feel this pain for the rest of their lives. Okay. After this, that's it. Okay. What an evil family. Seriously, there's nothing much to say about them. Agreed, evil. And yet, when they wanted to work to support themselves and still support the queen, they said no. Explain that to me. But, hey, maybe Princess Diana was working, trying to pave the way for Harry to have a perfect reason to leave. That's that's what it is. Because every offer that I was aware of of Harry trying to make a deal with the uh, the royal family, they rejected it. The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges. And I know I haven't always gotten it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. Even the 50-50. I don't know, but hey, they try. They try their best, but they rejected it. But look at them now. And then look at this. As they were leaving, I know I said it in the video already. As they were leaving, they were stripping them. As a form of punishment, stripping them of stuff, thinking that a word will make a person because H or H all of a sudden, all doors in America will open for them <laughs> and then they will need them to, uh, for support. Thank God. We need to keep on praying for the Sussexes. And yet when they wanted to work to support themselves and still support the queen, they said, no, explain that to me. Okay. Really does make you want... <laughs> really does make me wonder did they expect a proud black woman like megan who had worked so hard even while a student to get where she did okay where she did to live off freebies from hands out and the public purses like andrew okay i'm so i'm so relieved harry and megan trashed that half in and half out b bs they have no future neither archie lily and uh, lily if they stay in the toxic racist institution that is true okay where can she Return to acting. I miss her. Hmm. All right. Maybe she could do a special. Uh, how do they call this? Uh, when they come in for a special, uh, a special guest. That's the thing. Sometimes they do that. You never know. She might come in as a special guest. All right. Let's go for the next tweet. All right. Remember three years ago when Meghan Markle was being disrespectful and controversial for wearing one shoulder gown okay let's see channel five i'm telling you the squad were putting this she's uh she's a new member of the royal family and controversial member i think i will be more careful the duchess of sussex allegedly broke protocol by wearing dark nail polish some say she breathed a fresh air but others disagree <laughs> but anyway this is two minutes and 47 seconds let's listen i will have to stop in between i just hope there's no music okay oh. She looks amazing. Are we really going to criticise her for her, her nail colour here, her dark nail colour? Claudia Eliza, I totally agree with you. She. Wait a second. Is that the same black lady from the other one? Is that the same one? Let's see here. That looks like her. I think that's the same one. Uh, but then again, that was early in 2018. They didn't buy her off yet. But let's listen. Criticize her for her, her nail color here, her dark nail color. Claudia Eliza, I totally agree with you. She looks amazing. And if she was a film star, I'd absolutely applaud her. However, she is a new member of the... What? However? However for what? But this is the trash these people are. However, she's a new member of the royal family, I guess. Yeah, however, she is a new member of the royal family. Now we know the royal family are trash. The nonsense that they're doing. They're paying off pe uh, uh, people off their pedal son. My God. She is a new member of the royal family. And I think she has been warned or guided that, first of all, 
It, the thing about the one shoulder, you and I, I wear one shoulder. I love one shoulder. Uh, this I, is where they're trying to trash. Oh, I wear this. I wear, trying to minimize, minimize the insult. This is the thing here. Trying to minimize the insult by inserting themselves. They could do that. But yet, you know, the prestige, the high value they used to think of royal. All right. They're trying to put the royal name into a, a prestige name. Okay, well, they minimize the insult that they're doing to Megan and by inserting themselves into it saying, I could do that, but the royal, the prestige, they're not supposed to do that. My goodness, but long and behold, <laughs> we know the uh, that prestige is right under the ground. It's like a royal flush where people throw their uh, dump in. I like showing my shoulders, but you're supposed to look a little bit butt. more demure. Now, the fact that that was a Givenchy gown, and it is sensational, she looks wonderful. But okay, if you insulting her, and at this, she looked wonderful. But, okay, but you've, you've been advised to do something at this stage. My goodness, thank God, Megan, they left, thank been God. been advised to do something. At, at this stage, you know, I think it's better she went a bit slower and the net no matter what megan would have done over there nothing will be to these people's value nothing 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 at all all right this is the prestige that they're giving the royal family now we know it's not that prestige anymore Nail varnish uh, again yes we're in the 21st century um why do i have that color because i'm changing my clothes perhaps twice a day <laughs> three times a day sometimes especially in the what I don't know. Do you change your clothes that many often in one day? Okay, let's say you go to work. When you get up, you take a shower, you put your work clothes. Okay, you come back, you take a shower, you put your house clothes, you know, something to feel comfortable. And then you take a shower again, maybe. Okay, take another shower and you go to bed. How many times you have to change during a day? Okay, let's say you're not going to work. Let's say you being around the house. You get up, you take a shower, you put your house clothes on, something to feel comfortable. You stay with that clothes all day. At least that's what I do. And then take another shower, go to bed. Let's give another scenario. You get up in the, uh, during the day, let's say on a weekend, you have errands to run. Okay, you get up. Let's say you decided, oh, let me relax a few. Let's watch some TV early in the morning. Okay, you put your house clothes. All right, you take a shower. Put a clothes to go out to run errands. Okay. You come back home. Take another shower. Put your house clothes. How many times you have to change? Three or four times a day? <laughs> Three times a day, especially in the evening. What the hell is this, people? But anyway, unless if you go into different event, that's a different story. But I don't know what she's talking about. Twice a day, three times a day, sometimes, especially in the evening. I want to have a color that goes with everything. And I'm certain that might be behind this. Where there's a rule, there's a reason. The reason's common sense. So you're going deeper. You think the one shoulder was also a bad choice, yes. let alone the dark nail polish. Showing the shoulder, she, it's a two, it's she's done it. On, I know, but you're, and you're oh a wonderful. Oh my God, oh my God. These people are so stupid. And this is news. This was news over there. This was news over there. And meanwhile, the government is stealing people's money. They're doing all sorts of other things. Oh, my God. Old fashion editor and a stylist. And in your world, fabulous, wonderful. But she's... In your world. So it's a different type of world. Oh, my God. So new member and a country controversial member you know she's got how is she a controversial member look at her face that the way i start a controversial who's putting the controversies you guys are she's just doing her work wow 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 oh thank god she's out of there thank god but a family who's causing an awful lot of trouble and now knowing what we know now let me rewind it already let me rewind it over oh Knowing what we know now about Megan's father coming to those TV, they were pushing him to go on TV. Right. So um, that may that may have been one of the things that upset her. And of course, the photographs were a setup. I was uh, uh, set up by a guy named Jeff Rayner and um, um, uh, another guy named Dylan Howard, who, who was 
uh, with American media, I think. And the whole thing was a plan to actually mess up the wedding. Uh, I was just part of it. Basically, they went to... On yesterday's program, in a live interview, Thomas Markle, not uncharacteristically, went a bit rogue. Paying him to talk negative about her. My goodness, my goodness, these people are evil. Okay, I rewind it a bit more. Fabulous, wonderful. Mm -hmm. But she's a new member and a contra controversial mm -hmm. member. You know, she's got a family who's causing an awful lot of trouble. And therefore, I think if... if this, I, is why, this is why they brought the father to talk negative about her. So they could say these kind of things. Now, knowing, knowing what we know now, where the father came out and said they pay him off to stop the wedding, they don't bring him out anymore. They don't bring him out anymore to come and talk. All right, thank God. I think Princess Diana probably pushed the button and said, you better tell why you were coming to national television to talk negative about your daughter. Spill the beans. My it was in her shoes, but I'm not. I, I think I would be more careful, and I, I take life a little bit mm. slower when you're going to try and get your own way about I, I things. Think, okay. This is where they wanted her to be 50% less of herself. Wow, wow. I feel, I feel embarrassed for her. What do you make of this? Is, 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 I, do the royal family need to change rules, do you think? Well, this is, this is the thing, is I totally understand your point of view, but also to, um, to so many of us, she's just so modern. She's the woman that we look to and she looks glossy, but sophisticated and she's, you know, glowing at this point in her pregnancy and that Givenchy dress and with quite a thigh split, which I thought was <laughs> and really oh, quite oh, oh, on that that's one. Really quite <laughs> Wow. I'm surprised with her. I, I mean, I'm not a fashion person. You guys, I've told you so many. I've told you guys so many times. I'm not a fashion person, but I'm surprised with her um, response on this. Antonia is quite right, and she is a breath of fresh air. And there's so and there refreshing. Are huge numbers in this country wanting that, and and I'm well, I'm she's all come with for her butt. change, etc. But, but you know, we the have butt. a very traditional royal family. The okay, that tradition is to keep things the same okay they don't want to change the vanity fair with uh, what's her name Anne. they don't want to change queen who is i mean in her 90s i think out of respect to, to her oh, while she is still queen okay. i think conform <laughs> there's and you say hold my beer hold my beer let me show her out of respect for the queen <laughs> oh my god Thank you, Virginia Garfrey. Thank you for sticking to your truth. Thank you. Let me read some of the comments. This took a long time. I'm already an hour. Okay, just there it is. There's that fifty percent. Okay, just be fifty percent of yourself to please Queen Elizabeth II, who has no fashion sense. Megan, everyone like myself was glad you were out of that shit show. You will always be everyone else's star. The rest can keep hell and stell to themselves. You will always rise as your heart is clean. Royal family does not have any. Okay. And talking about Megan's family, the royal are full of divorce and affair that old hag was scraping. My goodness. Let's see here. I think they made up rules after Megan had done something. So it will be wrong. And I mean, Megan didn't do anything wrong. It's just that everything that Megan does, you know, they have to talk the opposite of it because they wanted to smear her name. That's all. Is that the case? No, absolutely no. not. No, I mean, and, and if, we're if we're talking about why this whole, you know, Harry Meghan thing started, it started because uh, several years ago, if you, if you cast your mind back, the, the Queen was and always will be the most popular role, but second to that was Harry. Was Harry. It wasn't William and Kate. It yeah. was not William and Kate. And when Harry, when, when Harry and Meghan became such a popular couple, it put everybody's noses out of joint. The establishment wanted to retain the monarchy as it was, yep. to boost William and Kate, and the media, the Daily Mail and the Telegraph in particular, fed those lines. Well, drip, drip, I, I, drip, 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 drip. I agree with everything until you said the last bit. I think, I think that, that somebody in the palace decided to take them yes. down a peg or two, and it went too far. Absolutely. But that's all history now, isn't it? What it means is that a senior figure in the royal household, according to Mel on Sunday, was passing him information uh, in order to help defeat the Duchess's case.
But no. it's, not, it's not history because, if, for instance, if, if you take the media on, as as Dawn will know, if you you never win, if you never win, but the but the media will be always be at war with you, and the Daily Mail will, it does everything drip 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 poison. Okay. And it's, Daily not, it's not like Harry and Meghan never use a media, of course. I mean, that they, Oprah Winfrey. Like they, if interview. you were in that position, you would fight back too. You would absolutely fight back too. I wouldn't. Uh, what is it uh, about the squad who usually show uh, clothes that Meghan wore? And then they were bashing her for it. Next thing you know, the other one, the coat hanger, is copying Megan. All right? So, nah, it's just whatever Megan does, they have to say completely opposite to smear her name. Okay, let's see here. After Megan had done something, so it will be wrong. And then conveniently forgot they blasted Megan for that behavior when another world did the exact same thing later on. That's almost the thing that I was saying with the clothes. Okay, there's always one set rules for Megan and another set for the rest. Here's Betty on the right wearing one of her many one-shoulder gowns. They invented rules that only Megan had to follow. Yeah, I didn't even know anything about this, but there it is here. The thing about showing your shoulder, you're supposed to look demure, jealous clown. <laughs> oh, look at this. Uh, again, like I said, I don't follow the rules to know all of this. All right, there's Princess Diana with one shoulder. Uh, this one show both. Uh, uh, uh. These people, these people, uh, 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 these people, <laughs> look at this. These people are crazy, truly crazy. There's no protocol looking at the old pic of Queens and Margaret. Okay, they did whatever they wanted. Okay, one shoulder gowns are only reserved for the white members of the royal family, apparently. All right, there's more picture of one shoulder rule here. This is Princess Anna in a strapless dress for her first public appearance. This so-called expert really never gave Duchess Megan a chance. Okay, so that was the first time they went out together. Okay, Princess Diana, first public appearance. All right, a year or two before Meghan wore a one-shoulder dress to an official event, Catherine wore a dress with both shoulders uncovered to an official event, the BAFTA Award. Okay, there's the squad who knows more than I do. Always the double standard. Okay, not really double standard. Meghan was fabulous and stunning while Kate was, <laughs> was meh. None of them envied Kate even with the see-through dress. The one shoulder was not the problem. It was the beauty, glory, and glow Meghan radiate that uh, they envied. They always camouflage their envy and racism. Okay, like when President Obama wore a tent suit and people went screaming into the night. <laughs> That's true. That's some next level stupidity. <laughs> All right, after this, that's it. Class, classless Karen should all issue public apologies for inventing reason to go after Megan. That's exactly what it is, okay? They're creating nonsense to go after her, okay? What should she have conformed to? There were no such rules to adhere to, okay? While she is still queen, I think conform. Mm -mm -mm. I have to, this lady right here, I don't know anything else that she has said prior to that, but I, I was okay with her response on, on that video. All right, there's more response, but I'm moving to the next one. I only have two more, this one and one more, and I'm already an hour. Harry and Meghan's decision to live looks better with every passing day. All right, more than anything, I love the fact that Archie and Lily will grow up normal, surrounded by family and friends. Can you imagine what it does to a kid? to grow up with growing ups and tuxedos curtsying and tending your every rim recipe for a weak character harry is an amazing dad yep let's see here uh not as good as <laughs> okay they won't grow up being told that they are <laughs> not as good as can do or be that only here to serve the king and his irrelevant to not allowed to be independent individuals especially when they're adults with free will to make their own choices <laughs> that is true let's see here okay absolutely the scapegoat are gone and all hell break loose meanwhile our faves are resting well in sunny california i have a cup similar to this it's funny the cup that i'm drinking right now is similar to this but it's more like uh like a m m kind of thing i bought it at the m m store in new york city all right since it's so terrible that they leave the title of the evil empire they can't it's the only thing that makes them relevant and still they fail in everything they do who, who is this person you you search out their names on twitter and other to talk about them with strangers so clearly they are 
very relevant to you. Uh, uh, this one was talking about uh, Harry and Meghan. Oh, please. This is the thing here. They can't stop. They have to come on the Sussex Squad uh, timeline. To, it's also to keep it with their stupid narrative. All right, with that being said, let me black. Uh, why? Uh, let's see here. I think so too. I don't like... I don't like the way he chose to do a Prince Harry who have done it by himself before getting married. He dragged Meghan into this, making it look like it was her doing, not his. He was just following his family while we all know how much he hated it. Okay, he didn't have uh, the, con the conjoin until Meghan came into the picture. Yep, I think so too. God, what is it? There's, there's some areas I'm reading where he said he wanted to leave since he was in his 20s. Uh, now that Megan came into the picture, and I've said it in another video, he saw how Megan lived before joining the war family, and the friends that Megan had, who were they knew he was coming to see her, and all that. Everybody kept their mouth shut, okay, to give him the privacy that he wanted with Megan. So he saw the lifestyle Megan had, and then when he marry her into the royal family and see the nonsense that they were putting them so he was like you know what i understand the pain i felt the pain that i've been feeling within the, my family i'd rather go outside of royal family let me do that leap of faith with her because at least i know the people around her are good people because he's seen it before when you know when they were dating and all of that all right so let me move on go to my last one and then i have to do a prayer I'm already an hour. All right, let's see this here. Heavy said, quote, if you know what I know, you'll understand why I have to step my family back, end quote. The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges. And I know I haven't always gotten it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. Prince Harry was right to step back his family and out of that palace. Too much has happened to these three beautiful people in that palace. Blood has been spilled, has been spilled too. No answers yet. All right, so they, yep, yep, yep. Let's see here. Harry saw something happening again and knew what he had to do. He understood the assignment. His family have hated him ever since. <laughs> Thank God he is astute enough to handle that portion with accuracy and speed. Yep. I mean, I think the way they... Let me see. When Megan over there, they took her passport. They took her passport. So which means they have to know everywhere they, uh, she goes. So Harry and Megan probably planned the escape. I think I even, I even have a, a thumbnail that I say something. Pl um, plan of escape. Something like that. Okay. So they thought they used the opportunity during the holiday to go on vacation and then that was their way out. Okay? Leave her there. Leave her in, um, uh, in Canada and then go back to set the record straight with his family. And then when nothing uh, happened, you know, they didn't agree with all his proposal. It's like, I'm gone. I'm gone. And that's it. And then ever since then is, you know, insult after insult after insult. And then, you know, at this point, he... He doesn't need to hear from them anymore. I'm quite glad Philip was too old to pull his dirty string again. Okay, and the queen is also too old. I believe all the strings, ropes, and levers are being pulled by Chucks and Billy. They're going to feel that pain. The pain that they're putting onto Harry and Meghan. All right? In my opinion, I believe that about Eugene and Beatrice too. Okay, I don't know. I can't read this. All right, agree. I couldn't agree more. Okay, yes. He got out, but still waiting for his happily ever after to kick in. What is this talking about? I don't know. Absolutely. I'm so glad at least two of them got out and can go live happily ever after. I'll never forget or forgive what those a-holes did to Diana. Thankfully, they didn't succeed with Diana's boy and his beautiful princess. Oh, please. Oh, that's that. Uh, hard to believe. The one with... I forgot. Okay, Megan thought she was going to be the new Diana. What? No, 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 no. She went and did, she was being herself over there. I, I know this is a hater. I don't even need to be. Okay. You could read it, but I'll read the rest. And how would you know where you ever there? Okay. They killed Diana. Orchestrated accident. Okay. <clears throat> is it supposed to be a step back from the family or is it just confusion again? All right. Let's do a prayer. All right. I'm past an hour. Uh, prayer for, what can we say? 
let's say prayer for protection to keep protecting the Sussexes. Prayer for protection and succeed. Okay. Um, protection and guidance, success. Let's put all three. Success. Let, okay, let's read that. Lord, I pray for your protection as I begin this day. You are my hiding place and under your wings, I can always find refuge. Grant, O oh Lord, thy protection and protection strength. All right. Uh, let's put protection. Let's put guidance. Right? Guidance and success. What else do we have? Is there any side prayers? No. All right. So prayer for protection, guidance, and success. Let's go for image. What do I have? Prayer for business. Prayer for work. Prayer for career. Prayer for your direction. Okay, let's stick with that one. Almighty, everlasting God, I pray that you put me in the right direction as I search for a career. Please align me with your plan. Fill me with your values and convictions that will equip me for this career. When I feel doubtful or lost on this career journey, I pray that you remind me of your never-ending presence. I will never walk alone. You have designed me and my story beautifully. Lord, I pray that I see your plan unfold. In Jesus' loving name, amen. I think this is it. This is it. All right, so that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. And I, I really suggest you subscribe to IP Team Sussex. Occasionally, I put other videos that sort of intertwine with the Sussexes and also with the rest of the royal family on IP Team Sussex. Usually the ones that bulk of the tweets that deal with the other royals but intertwine with the Sussexes, I'll put it on IP Team Sussex. So I will suggest you subscribe to IP Team Sussex because many of you don't want to hear some other things so i have to put them on the backup channel but the backup channel is being monitored as well <laughs> i can't get any break the other the backup channels now need another backup <laughs> I, it's laughable at this point because these are the nonsense that they're doing out there and i'm just sharing them with you those people don't want the truth to come out so the backup need a backup is being monitored as well all right so now rp team sussex is being uh, monitored as was pyte now they i could show you right now uh pyte here they are allowing the videos to uh you know they approve the videos a bit much quicker now unlike rp team sussex all right, so there's this here. Look at the number. Let me refresh it, see if anything changed. Ah, so that's it. All right, and thanks for your support. And those who have donated it, thank you. And there's a PayPal link in the description if you want to support me. That's it. Thanks for watching.